In other news tonight, police are searching for the driver of a stolen car that caused a violent three-vehicle crash in northeast Philadelphia, and part of it was captured on camera. It happened at Rising Sun Avenue and Martins Mill Road in the city's Lawndale section. Matt Petrillo has that security video and new car theft data from Philadelphia police. It's crazy. Security video shows a SEPTA bus traveling along Rising Sun Avenue in Lawndale early Thursday morning when police say on the other side of the bus was a stolen car that crashed into a minivan that then hits the bus. The bus then slams right through a PNC bank. A reckless person and, you know, just don't have no remorse for life. The damage on the minivan's passenger side shows the impact from getting struck by that stolen car. I think the, uh, the whole city is going bananas. Car thefts are keeping Philly police busy. More than 6,900 cars have been stolen in the city this year. That means, on average, officers are called to nearly 60 stolen cars every day in Philadelphia. What do you make of that? Uh, I hope it doesn't ever happen to me. I, hope, I really don't, you know. But it's happening all over, all over. Roosevelt Williamson went to the PNC bank to make a withdrawal. I'm looking. I thought they were rebuilding something, you know, doing a front over. I guess you'll be going to another bank then. Yes, I will. Data also shows car thefts have been surging in the city for years. In fact, there's been more stolen cars this year than all of 2019. I think crimes is getting worse and worse in this city every year. It's getting worse and worse. I don't know what's going on. But it's scary. And as crews continue to make repairs here at the bank, officers are still searching for the suspect who was driving that stolen vehicle and caused that violent chain reaction. In Lawndale, Matt Petrillo, CBS News, Philadelphia.